Welcome back everybody to another episode of Factory Idol. In this video, we should be able to get a fair amount done. So, let's see. To start off with, we have about the same amount of money, but this time, because I've waited a little bit, we have these things over here called bonus ticks. These basically mean that, um, see over here we have four ticks per second. This will increase the ticks per second to about 200 or so. About 200 or so. Which basically means everything is going to get sped up like crazy and we'll make money really, really quickly. And also, what we're going to be trying to do is we'll be buying the research center, which we actually do right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Buy. Nice. We got a little achievement thingy, I think. Cool. Oh, we, we all knocked upgrades, which means we can start getting upgrades. Sweet. We'll look at those um, in a second. So the research center. We put this down somewhere that we have space to do it. Oh, do we seriously not have space right here? I was kind of hoping we would. Okay, where could we put it then? I think I'm kind of tempted to put it right here. Okay, I'm trying to think what's best. I think I'll put it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause it so we don't lose any money. Because each one of these costs money per tick to run. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this around a bit and see if we can get a better setup for it. So we need to be able to have two, um, two iron ore buyers running into this. So we'll put that there. Actually, we'll put one there and one there. And then we should be able to have enough space to... Uh, man, I don't think we'll be able to um, fit another one in here. Can we? We might be able to. Oh man, I think we can. Sorry if you can hear um my lawn being mowed in the background. Hey, we actually could fit it. Nice. And we still have um, enough space. Uh, yeah, we do. We can put the um cellar. No, yeah, the cellar right there. And then. There we go. Perfect. We actually made another 100% efficiency one. That's actually better than what we had earlier. Plus, we now are making research. So now if we play it, we are making one research per tick. Wait. Only 0.03 research per tick. This is the amount of research we have. Alright, cool. So, we need to, in the research tab here, we are basically saving up research to be able to get steel components later on in the game. Which actually is not too far away, considering that's only 200 research. And then the upgrades over here. Let's look at these. So the iron buyer will then produce 100% more resources. The iron foundry will use and produce 100% more resources. More resources. The iron seller sells 100% more resources. And the resource sell price could be higher. So we'll buy actually all of these. I think we can afford all of them. Maybe. One, two, three, four. There we go. Perfect. Why are we making negatives? We should not be making negatives. Why are we making negative money? Okay, right, now we're making positive money. All right, that was, that was that was scary. Oh yeah, it's because um, it's actually because um, ah, the research center takes four dollars per tick to run, which is quite expensive considering we were only making three and a half dollars at the beginning of the episode. But now, we are actually able to um, make um, the $4 per tick for the research center, as well as make $4.75 um, using everything else. Now, I think we'll use the fast button here. This will start using the bonus ticks, and everything will go incredibly fast. This is not time lapse or anything at all, I am just pressing the fast button. And we should be able to get the research up to 200, and we can get the steel. Perfect! We actually did it. Perfect. We'll stop that right there then, so we can use the fast ticks a little more later. We'll go into research here, and get we can get steel components. But I'm actually going to wait a second here, because the loudness of the lawn mowing is a little annoying. So I'm going to go and wait for that to finish, and then I'll be right back with you guys in a second. Alright guys, I am back, and the cool thing about that actually, is because we were waiting, and I still had the game open, we now have $17,000. If you go down here, we can actually buy this third section down here for 12000 So we'll go ahead and do that, we'll have plenty of space to start messing around with the new, um, steel, I think it's called. So we'll buy the steel, 
And we'll actually also buy the chronometer um, number one out of 10. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And now um, we get um, one more tick per second, I think that was. It was similar to the other thing on um, reactor idle. Um, anyway, now we should be able to get, um, not the upgrades, here we go. The steel, the um, coal buyer, steel foundry, and the steel cellar. So basically, the steel cellar needs two steel foundries, and then um, each steel foundry needs um, two coal and two iron, and each iron needs, of course, two iron ore. So, I wonder if we could fit a full one over here. I'm not sure if we will be able to, but I will try. So we will put maybe one there, one there. Trying to think here to get this the most compact. And then we'll put this here. No. I have no idea. Maybe we could put one like that, one like that, and then one here. There we go. I like that more. And then we have that output. Man, this is really not looking very good, is it? Maybe we put all the iron... We'll go ahead and start over here, maybe. We'll say... Have it like that. Put these two there. I'm gonna try and at least get one set up. Maybe not 100%. We'll have at least one set up, maybe. And then we'll need coal. Put the coal up there. We need two coal, actually. So two, you know, how many upgrades can we get? Could we get a coal upgrade? No, that's forty thousand. We can definitely not afford that. Iron cellar upgrade. We could get that, but we don't really need it. These are expensive. So we're not gonna get any upgrades, I guess. We might as well just deal with what we have here. So if two coal right there, and then we can do. I wonder if we could reverse these. We'll reverse the setup we have here, and then do another one. Like right here, like, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna kind of flip this upside down a bit. So we'll put this on the top, like that, and then we'll do one, two, like that. I like that a little more. There we go. And now we have two coal, one iron. We're gonna go ahead and pause here so we don't lose any money, and then we need one more iron. So we'll do, I'm trying to figure out how to be the most efficient. All right, I think we'll probably have to, you know, we'll go ahead and put down this right here, up top, I think. And then we'll go ahead and make the coal go to it. And then we'll make the iron, we'll need to go I think if we put it into the coal line, it might be too much, but we'll go ahead and do that for now and see if we can fit everything in like that. You know what? We'll go ahead and take a safe route because we have plenty of space over here. Might as well. You know what? No, because I actually want to use that space for a research center. So we'll go ahead and put a research center in. Then we'll figure out space later. Maybe we could say something. I still want to make it as safe as possible, not have anything get clogged. Cause in the late game, stuff getting clogged is a big issue. So maybe something like, like this. So we'll have these two, we'll run into this one. And there we go. And this, we'll maybe add into there. Perfect. And then we have a steel cellar right here. I don't have enough money for a steel cellar. Well, that's not good, is it? How much are they? 500? Oh gosh, it's 1500 and we're making negatives. All right, sell that. Now are we able to? Almost? All right, I have to save this user thing. Uh, don't mess with my user code. You know what, I'll just blur that out so then you guys can't take all my stuff and mess it all up. All right, let's see here. Why am I still losing money? Stop losing money. All right, I gotta figure out how to not lose money right now. Let's see here. How much could I sell this for? A thousand. Okay, I'll sell this temporarily. Because I need to buy a steel seller. I need the money. There we go. Now, 
Now we should be making a lot of money. Because the steel sells for a lot, I'm pretty sure. Let's see how much. 272 after 10 ticks. Yes, we will be making a lot of money. That is awesome. This will be running at 50% eventually because it can handle two. But I only have one running to it right now because it takes a lot of space to make one work. Um, and so, I think what we'll do next is make a full 100% efficiency one up here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So we'll go ahead and tick this so we can clear it really efficiently. You just right click to clear if you did not know that. Now, I'm going to do this. I have a design already planned out in my head because I remember it from when I played it on my own a while ago. I think it is something like this. And then we have two coal things. I mean, two steel things, right? Like, the, I don't have enough money. No! <laughs> Dang it! Go faster! <laughs> we have the fast ticks, so might as well use them. I still don't have enough money. 4,000. How much money did I have to start off with? <laughs> there we go. 4,000. All right, and then we'll put the iron into the steel here. I feel like I'm doing something wrong in my plan. Oh yeah, these have to be one more up. Whoops. There we go. That's better. Now we have this going in here, and this going in there. And then we do coal, coal? How much does the coal cost? A thousand? Oh, come on. So much money. Oh, and we're not making much. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see here. Coal. I don't have enough money for conveyor belts. Are you serious? There we go. No, I, come on. Or conveyor belts. Oh, man. We were in the negatives. Oh, man. We're in the negatives right now. Oh, no. That's not good. Maybe we'll sell some of these. We need to be at least in the positives. This is not very good, is it? Alright, here we go. We'll sell that. That should bring us back into the positives, or at least be making money. Now we can buy a seller. Jeez, I did not plan that out. These are expensive. Alright, now we should definitely be in the positives, at least. There we go, and now we need to buy just one more of these. Ah, it's 4,000. There we go. 4,000. And then we need two coal buyers. Oh, come on. Those are each 1,000 apiece. We're almost to 1,000 here. Fast, please. There we go. And then fast just a bit. Oh, man. This is a slow, slow process. Oops. There we go. Fast. We just need $1,000, please. Thank you. There we go. Now we have a 100% efficiency steel producing thingy. Yay! Wait a minute. Is this producing too much coal? Um. Oh. Oh, dang it. Each steel thing needs two iron. We're gonna have to completely redesign this. This is going to be a long episode, guys, because I'm going to finish this. I need to get to my steel working into this episode. Alright, so we have to... We're going to pause this, sell all this stuff that we just saved up for. Luckily, we still get the same amount back, I think. And then we are going to sell even the seller. We're going to sell this one even, actually. We're going to bring out one more down. And then, you know what? We're actually going to go sell basically everything. We're going to have these be on the sides like that. I think that'll be a little more efficient. And then we can go have this here. Save some space. And we can then put that like that. There we go. Might as well have a little extra because you never know how much you're going to be making in the future. And that can now handle... Now this steel um, foundry will now be producing at 100% efficiency. I actually think we can save a little more space here with the coal. If I put that there. 
And like that. That saves just a little bit of space and every little bit counts at this point. Okay, and now we're going to try and fit a whole nother one uh, in this extra space here, which I think can be done. I think what I'm going to start with is... I think I might just completely do it almost just mirrored and flipped. So we'll have um, these still be like that. Yeah, I think this is going to work out good if we do that. And then we go like this and then lead these in here might as well have the two exits so then stuff doesn't get clogged as often because getting clogged in the future as I've said many times is an issue and now we will bring this up here we cannot have another foundry there but we can have it We'd have to have it. Okay, so we'll put the cellar, put the selling thing right there. I think that should work. And then we'll put the second one right there. And then we can then have this exit out into that. Might as well have two because it looks cool. Might as well have two exits because there. It looks, once again, because it looks cool. And then bring that around into this one. And then we need two coal. We'll put those perfectly up there. Always have two, just in case. Make sure it doesn't get clogged. Oh, dang it. We move this one more over. That's, that's no big deal, no big deal. Just put that right there. Move that in there. Have both of these running to it. And then both these into the steel cellar. And there we go. I think that should be a 100% efficiency steel cellar. I think. We'll check the percentages here. The All the buyers should be at 100% because they only buy. All the foundries should be at 100% eventually. We'll wait for them to get caught up here. I think they should be at least. Two iron every 10, two iron every 10. This uses four iron every 10. Yep, yep, there we go. 100% efficiently, 100%, 100%, 100%. Yep, that looks good to me. And then we need to now look at these should be at 100%, 100%, and this is at 100%. There we go, we are now making $20 per tick on average, it says. Now we can invest in having a few research centers. Put one there. I'm tempted to get rid of this setup here and put one there. I wonder if we can fit two. I'm tempted to see here. If we can fit two, it's definitely worth it. One. Two. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Now we're making a ton of research as well as a ton of money, which is very good because money is good. And we have that full setup up there as well. So it's looking really good, I think. Yep. Research. Maybe, it's, maybe we'll have enough research for maybe the metals lab or something like that in the next episode. But I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Factory Idol. See you guys in the next episode.